Welcome everybody as this uh, live is getting started. So excited to be here with you today on day five of the Love Mastery game, the Four Directions and the Ancestors. So happy to be with you here today and oh my goodness, let's call in the other directions and uh, then we'll work with today's direction which is the east. Welcoming in the south to hold us in beautiful, loving, sacred space with our hearts open, connected with each other in love and grace and beauty, letting go of everything that came before today, this right, this moment right now, just being here in the present. Welcoming the west, O Turongo Jaguar, protect this medicine space. We welcome the west to show us the beauty of all things in life and to Help us to release with ease and grace and to expand into the greater potential. We welcome you west. We welcome you north, place of Siwakente Hummingbird. We're so grateful, north. Thank you so much. Thank you, north. Place of our ancestors and guides who help us so much. Thank you, ancestors. Remember who we are in truth and love and know that we have the support of all of our ancestors and guides. Thank you, North. And now East. We welcome you East. Oh, the East is the place of the dawn, the rising sun, the new opportunity, the new potential. The East is a new golden line. We call it a golden line on our our path to our destiny, it's our golden line. It's that from our heart, the new opening, the greater potential, you know, as we as we lift ourselves through all of our inner work, our inner mastery, we lift ourselves into a new potential, a new possibility, a new sunrise, a new dawn, a new day. And from this place, we step forward into the unknown, into the mystery of what's going to unfold before us as we start walking this new golden path, this new destiny line. And a lot of times these uh, openings with the East, it's a expansion. And because it's an expansion, there's always going to be things that you're not comfortable with or you're not familiar with because it's not part of the old you. It's not part of the old landscape and playground that you used to have. It's an up level. It's a new place and it's greater potential, greater mastery, uh, greater opportunities. And so because of that, it's a mystery. So a lot of times when we move around the wheel um, with the four directions and we come back to the east, we feel like we're new students again. We feel like it, you know, we just, you know, sometimes we feel like we got demoted. It's like, wow, I thought I knew what I was doing and then I got into the east and I realized I didn't know anything. <laughs> and this is really the teaching of the great masters. The great masters always say, let go of everything you know. Because the only way you'll learn something new is if you don't know anything. Because then you're curious. Then your mind's open. Then you're willing to take the journey. And the East has a lot of medicine for us today in our current culture, our Western culture, where the game of Western culture is to know everything and be the expert and have all the answers and have all the proof and documentation to back it up that you have all the answers and have reams and reams and reams of paper to show that you know what you're talking about and you have the answers which is very serious because you have to prove your authority and your credibility because that's very very serious <laughs> and, oh, as we move out of the hard mental focused proving justifying way of thinking, thinking, and we move into the beauty way, uh, we can relax because actually we don't know anything. And because we don't know every, anything, we can actually know everything. <laughs> There's a, a paradox in that. There's a huge paradox. The paradox is this. Who are you being? Who are you being? 
That's the question you need to ask yourself. If you are being your personality, then probably you're in the mode where you need to know everything and do everything and, you know, and that's in your conditioning. That's in your temporary existence. That's, that's the conditioning you've been raised up to believe that you needed to have in order to be an expert and prove that you know what you're talking about and, um, you know, have lots of evidence reams and reams of evidence or certificates on the wall, um, all of that. That's it's all part of this current Western paradigm that we landed in in this time and space, which the Carol people call the Pacha. So when you land in the Pacha, you're at a specific point in, in time and a specific point in location and physical reality, and you're at a specific point in conditioning of the overall collective, and you're at a specific point of conditioning in your family system and in your school system and in all the systems that you engage in, and that forms your consciousness in the Pacha. It forms your consciousness. And when you're operating from that place, it is very serious. Like you really do have to prove that you know what you're talking about, otherwise no one is going to take you seriously. And the most important thing in that world is to be taken seriously so that people will listen to you and people will hire you and people will give you money. And that's just, you feel the energy of that. It's heart closed is what it is. It's mental. It's a mental model. It's a mental sparring model, you know, to war with other people over information. And we saw oh, so much of that mental sparring going on during the pandemic. Tons and tons of mental sparring and much of it lacked heart, heart engaged conversation. Much of it lacked listening and learning and opening to see what does this mean? What is this all about? I am open to the possibilities. I do want to learn. I want to understand why this has happened to on earth at this time. And I'd like to understand what it means for me. And I realize that I may not have the answers because this is new and this is happening and it's foreign and, and it's opening us up to new terrain that we don't know yet. You know, there's this um, thing that Martin Luther King said, which I love. He said, if you can see, you know, you can't see the whole stairwell. You only see the first step. And the reason why he said that is because he was living from the greater mystery. He was living from the East. He didn't have a vision, a really true, solid, grounded, embodied experience of what it would be like for every man, woman, and child, no matter what skin color, to feel like that equal opportunities. He didn't have a lived experience of that. He had a dream of it. He had a vision of it. His heart opened to what would it be like if it was like that? That feeling is what's going to move me through my day of a dream of what could be. I have a dream. The East is the dream. New Earth is a dream. We don't know what New Earth is going to look like. It's a dream. It opens our heart when we let it in. And we can let that dream guide us. And that's the work of the East to let the bigger dream of our heart, of our soul, guide us to learn how to bring it into physical reality, how to actually become that as a three-dimensional being, how to bring it in. That's the work of the East. And so the East is a really powerful ally. And I often call on the East and I say, East, lift me up and help me take those first few steps along the path and help me take the next step and show me where the next step is and teach me the next step and sometimes those steps are external actions inspired inspired actions inspired actions and sometimes they're inner work sometimes the work is to shift a perception i have some part of my matrix that i just thought was true i need to see it as suspect maybe it's not true maybe it's not true that i need to prove my worth Maybe it's not true that I need a piece of paper to show everyone how smart I am. Maybe it's not true that I need to be serious in order to be taken seriously. Maybe none of that's true. Maybe it's not true that I need to have a five-year plan or a 10-year plan or a 20-year plan. Maybe it's more true that I need to be in the now, in the moment, and listening to my soul, which has the master plan and the greatest destiny potential 
to lead me someplace I didn't even know I wanted to go. Isn't that cool? So that's, that's the East. So that's who you're working with today, just so you know. <laughs> okay, so here is the sheet of paper again. <laughs> so go ahead and grab your inquiry sheet. And it says, I desire help with this inquiry today. What inquiry do you desire help with? To my aid comes the East, who offer me, and I just gave you lots of information about the East, but let me see what I wrote on this major allies. This is the major allies sheet, the East. The winds of the East help us to make each moment a new sunrise, a new potential, a new decision. It helps us to plant the seeds of our desires and fuel them with the rising sun to grow into manifestation. And those desires come from our heart, the inspired place. So write down on the description line, what does it offer you? What does the East offer you? And now here is the mastery being states. Okay, so we're going to pick a number from 1 to 12. Close your eyes. Okay, and now we're going to look on here. What is your number? What does it signify? And then write that state of being on your state of being line. Okay, now close your eyes. Another number from 1 to 12. All right, and here is the, the sheet, Mastery Principles. What Mastery Principle did you get today? And so I desire help with this inquiry today. To my aid comes the East with all the medicine of the East that you wrote down on the medicine line. Invite me to be in a state of being, which you wrote down. As I master the principle of mastery, as you wrote down, therefore I am. And so for this, we're going to go into the sanctuary, closing your eyes. Joining together with me in the sanctuary, surrounded by the old oak trees, the wise ones, the ancient ones, with their thick, thick trunks and their roots stretching deep into the earth underneath us, their branches reaching high overhead, welcoming the sanctuary. And receiving the east for the medicine that will serve you today in your inquiry.
Okay, coming back with your message and writing your realization down on your sheet. I hope that you've enjoyed this five days with the ancestors in the four directions. Work all day today with the East and hopefully the East brings you synchronistically into our healing event tomorrow on April 30th for emerging, emerging into a whole new way of being and learning about the Caro medicine path and how we can create some magic and mystery in our lives and really enjoy our lives rather than res resist and struggle in our lives. I welcome you into this path and I welcome you to come with us and I welcome you to join us for the Sacred Living with the Four Directions mini course that's coming up in May 2022. And if you're watching this long past all of those things, go to the website, you'll still find it there and you'll be able to engage. And so we love you, we appreciate you. I know Akeem and I are just so happy that, that we get to do this work and we get to bring more people along with us on this beautiful path. Uh, we love to work with people and we hope that someday you decide to join us in Peru. We'll be going in June 2022 at the end of the year and uh, spending a nice beautiful chunk of time, two weeks, engaging with the medicine people and going to beautiful, beautiful resorts and places, uh, temples and doing ceremonies and also going to the Holy Mountain. This is the year we're going to Ausangate, the Holy Mountain. It's been calling me every card pull there's the Holy Mountain. <laughs> so we are headed to the Holy Mountain. We are opening up our infinite potentials for new earth and we invite you to join us whenever you feel ready. We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye for now.